Hi my loves. Okay, so this video was actually going to be something that was long, long awaited and it is my pro kit video. What's in my pro kit video. Now I slashed what's in my makeup collection as well with this video because I wanted to touch on that a little bit. A lot of you guys have been asking not only for my pro kit but what's in my makeup collection and I really want to be honest with you guys I don't have much in my makeup collection. Ever since I started taking freelancing seriously and I've been building my brand I don't really purchase makeup for myself. I honestly just put everything into my kit and if I want to put some makeup on like my blush or um, eyeshadow I pull from my pro kit and I make sure to really really sanitize things before and after when I put them back now I've gotten some comments because I've answered questions in previous videos about using items from your pro kit and someone said don't you think that that's disgusting don't you think it's unsanitary and my response to that is I use this makeup on so many people who are total and complete strangers from each other and myself who don't know each other so what's the difference from using my pro kit makeup on myself as opposed to other people you know what I'm saying so it really that to me does not make any sense as long as you sanitize because of whether I use it on 50 clients today and myself tomorrow it still has to be sanitized regardless the more people you use it on every time you use it on someone else the makeup has to be sanitized all of my items get sanitized thoroughly I'm a big germaphobe as a lot of you know so to me that's not really an issue as far as my personal collection right now the only thing that I have in my personal collection are um concealers foundations my eyebrow products lashes mascara and lip products because I think those are the things that are the hardest to sanitize so I really just don't want to even mess with that as far as using it on myself eyeshadows are easy to sanitize blushes are easy easy to sanitize contouring products um pigments it's very easy to use these things and not contaminate them and if you do you can easily sanitize them so those are the things I really pull from my pro kit when you see me in a full face of makeup and to be honest with you I don't have a lot of eye makeup and a lot of face makeup because day to day I do not wear that much makeup I honestly only wear bronzer foundation concealer powder maybe a lip gloss and some mascara so those are really the only things that I keep in my personal kit because that's what I wear the majority of the time but the rest of my items are in my pro kit I'm not going to show you my personal collection because I'm telling you it's really small it consists about of four foundations two concealers one powder three bronzers and a bunch of lipsticks it's really not that exciting. If you guys really want to see it, leave a comment and let me know. I may do a separate video for that, but I just don't think that it's of dire importance to do one. But if you guys are interested, leave a comment and let me know. But I don't want this video to be too, too long. I'm pretty sure that what's in my pro kit section is going to be pretty long. So I want to stop talking and get right into it. If you guys have any questions about the items that I show in my pro kit, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Let's get right into it. Bye guys. All right guys, so here is the first parts to my pro kit. Now the first thing I want to talk about is this particular case. If you guys watch my previous what's in my pro kit video, you've seen this case before. It's one of my first cases that I ever got and it's actually a scrapbooking tote from Michaels. I will put the name of the strip of this particular scrapbooking tote from Michaels. I went ahead and bought a second one because I loved it so much, but it is a different model than this one. The only thing that I will say about this is that you don't want to overpack this tote because it will lean forward a little bit. As you can see, mine leans forward where it's supposed to kind of sit upright, but I don't mind because it doesn't drag on the floor. Now, here are the two side compartments here. I keep all of my little mixing mediums. I have my e.l.f. mixing medium in here. I have about four of those in here. I have both the NYX. 
I have both of the NYX setting sprays in here as well, the dewy and the matte finish. And then I have my all-time favorite heavy duty setting spray. This one is the Mayron Barrier Spray. Highly recommend this for super duper oily skin or someone who definitely needs their makeup to last throughout the day. Then I also have a few bottles of my Evian spray. Then going down to this bottom section here, you have three little compartments here. I used to keep my setting sprays and things out here, but they uh, they don't tend to fall out, but I just don't think that it's safe because it can fall out. And also, like from hitting this up against the wall, there are like a few holes down at the bottom. But other than that, I mean, I've had this thing for going on two years and it's in damn near perfect condition. So I, I, I highly recommend this. I don't know why I can't talk. Next in this zipper compartment, I have all of my wipes. These are some disinfecting wipes. And they're sanitizing wipes by Absolute, which is a Nika K brand. This is awesome for cleaning off my mixing palettes um, right before I do a client or right after I do a client. I also love these because they're great to wipe your hands in between clients or if you have something on your hand and you want to touch a client's face you can get your makeup off as well as sanitizing your hands at the same time with this. I also like the Nika K Absolute um, regular facial removing well makeup removing wipes. I ran out of them I'm just realizing that I am out so I'm going to put that on my list. And then in here I also have little packets of alcohol swabs. I know a lot of makeup artists walk around with the spray bottle of alcohol. I actually love the white version. If you can go to a camping store, even in the first aid section of Walmart or Target, they have these. I stock up on them. I get a big box at a time. These are great for sanitizing. It does everything that the alcohol spray does except that... It's in a white form. Turn the case around and this is what is on the other side. You have a random little flap here. This is where I keep mints. You always want to have mints when you are doing a client's face. Sometimes your breath can be stinking, especially if it's in the morning. You grab a cup of coffee for early call time. And sometimes clients tend to have a little bit of a breath situation. So it's always great to have mints on hand. Also in this flap, I keep my card swipers, all of my credit card swipers. I have two. I have the PayPal here and the Square. Then right here, you have a zipper compartment here. And this is where I keep some of my backup brushes. This is why I love, love, love this container. It is so user friendly. Like there is so many compartments as far as a makeup artist is concerned. You can store so many things in here. Then we can move on to the front section of this case. It has a Velcro flap and then it has a pocket. In here I keep a large mirror. Then this has a zipper section that I'm gonna unzip for you guys. Once you unzip it, there is a flap in here. This is where I keep my airbrush cleaner. Also where I keep my brush cleaner and my holy grail, most favorite brush, brush cleaner is the Sephora Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is not a deep cleansing brush cleaner. This is like to do in between clients or if you did a really quick look and you just want to sanitize the brush really quick because you want to use the same brush. These come, This comes in handy for that. And I also have my mixing palettes. I have my traditional artist mixing palette stainless steel that I got from Peyton Powder Cosmetics or PeytonPowderStore.com. You can search that or I will leave their information down below. Then I also got this one. This one's from Crown Brush. This isn't, I don't think this is stainless steel. I think it's like a metal that's brushed, airbrushed to look stainless steel. It's not as good of a quality as the one from Peyton Powder Store, but I like this one because when I'm custom mixing different colors I can put them all in this area then as you can see there are two zipper compartments as well as a large zipper compartment here is where I keep all of my beauty blenders over here I have a little square container this keeps my tweezers my um, lash and eyebrow scissors little scoops if I have to scoop out pigments or glitters to put them on my mixing palette I also have an eyelash curler and a um, 
pencil sharpener, like an eye pencil sharpener in there as well. Down at the bottom is where I keep all of my moisturizers, creams, and Fix Plus. Then I also have strobe cream, oil control lotion, my Nivea cream. I love using this on clients that have super dry sensitive skin because this is definitely great for sensitive skin and it's super hydrating. Another holy grail of mine is Hope in a Jar. I like this one as well because it has an SPF of 25 in there. So if I need to put that on someone who's very fair or someone who really does need a lot of SPF or need some SPF coverage, I use Hope in a Jar. But for the most part, I will either go with my Nivea cream or I'll go with strobe cream or oil control lotion from MAC. Then I also have my L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I like this. It's a lot like strobe liquid from MAC. Alright, so this is the top of the case again. More storage. Over here in this clear area is where I keep refills to my eyebrow. I mean eyelash curler, I'm sorry. I have all of my duo lash adhesives, the Ardell lash adhesives, uh, permanent eyelash glue and black permanent eyelash glue in uh, clear for the individual lashes and some lash glue remover. Here I have all of my backups to a lot of my e.l.f. face brushes. I actually really, really love these. So here's what the inside of my container looks like. It is stacked, so I will be taking everything out one by one and showing it to you guys. The first thing I keep on top is my brush canister. This one is from Monda Studios. I ordered this from Nigel's Beauty Emporium online. It's about $20. This is where I keep my dirty brushes so that way after a client I know which brushes that needs to be cleaned when I go home. And also this is a brush cup holder for me when I'm doing makeup. Next in that layer are my brush belts. These are my zippable brush belts from Sedona Lace. Highly recommend these guys. Highly recommend these. I have all of my eye brushes in here. These are all eye brushes, you guys, and 90% of these brushes are from Crown Brush. The next one is where I keep all of my face brushes. One side is mostly duo fiber and natural hair brushes. Then on the other side, I have my Taclon. I have some more natural hair brushes, fan brushes things like that. So these are pretty much all the face brushes I use. Again, 95% of these brushes are from Crown Brush. The next thing I keep in here is actually a makeup product, actual makeup product. It usually would go in my second kit, but there kind of isn't any room in there. So I just put it in here because I do have quite a bit of space in this case. It's quite large. So if you're a beginner makeup artist, you're going to have more than enough room in here. Now, this these are all of my powder blushes from Coastal Scents. So these are the entire forever blushes from Coastal Scents. I have a video for this too as well. Then I have another one of these little triangle cases. All of these little cases that I'm showing you are from ikhouse.com. So in this container I have my shadow shields, I have my mascara wands, cute little pink ones as well on this side. These are my favorite. Love them. I found them on either Amazon or eBay. I forget. Then in this one, I have my cotton pads, my Q-tips, and my foundation sponges. These are all of the eyelashes I have in my kit. Again, these cases come from iKate House. All of my lashes are from iKate House and shopmissa.com as well because they're very affordable. Miss A, all the lashes are a dollar, but they're usually sold out. So I really like to go to iKate House. Then I have another case here. This one is one of those triangle cases. This is where I have all of my adapters and chargers for my portable airbrush machine. Then I have another square container and this is my actual airbrush machine. This is the Graftobian Glam Air. I love this thing. I highly recommend it. I have my gun case in here, my hose, the compressor, and the portable battery case. Now, I do not keep my airbrush machine in this particular container all the time. And the reason being is because I don't want to travel with things that I do not need all the time. And 
slow me down weigh me down so the only time I will keep my airbrush machine in here is when a client requests airbrush if it's a bride and I know that they're getting airbrush I will keep it in there but other than that I just keep it home in this little triangle case another one from IK house I keep all of my 3d glitters and all of my shape glitters then I had these cases full of glitter I purchased them all from eBay and you can just look it up they get like 40 or 48 or 50 pieces for a certain amount of price and they are cosmetic grade glitters so when you just open it up like this there are two layers as you can see one and there's another layer of glitter underneath I've stuffed some paper towel in here so that they won't move because I was having an issue with them spilling glitter all over the place they did not come like this they came in little tiny plastic baggies so these containers that you see here I ordered from Coastal Scents I will leave the link to those containers I think these are five grams so I depotted all of them in here these are all of my regular glitters like just primary colors and different shades of the primary colors in here then in this case I have some iridescent glitters then I have some neon colored glitters then I also have some crushed metal glitters back here and then also some crushed metal iridescent glitters now we're gonna move on to the second container I'm trying to keep this video pretty quick I don't want it to be like an hour long video I'm trying to keep it down to 30 minutes or less if possible so this container is a smaller version of the other container that I have I don't want to say that it's a smaller version it's smaller but it is another scrapbook tote and it is from Michaels again I will leave the name and hopefully the links to each of these containers so that you guys can check them out for yourself the first flap is where I keep my eye primers and mascaras so this little baggie has all of my eye primers in here and this little baggie has all of my mascaras and again these are from IK house it holds my cell phone really easily just stick it right in there I'll put my keys in here as well I'll even put my um, license uh, debit card things like that in here if I have to park my car at a location and travel on the train and I need to have everything on me everything will go in these flaps and like I said it fits my phone very very easily so everything stays in here quite nice and snug this one also comes with a flap on the front and when you open it up it's a little flappy compartment here and there are two containers that come with this case that are velcroed inside this first one is where I keep all of my eyebrow things to shape and clean and groom the eyebrow the second flap is where I keep all of my face primers here is the inside of this one this is filled to the brim with makeup so hopefully I can get through this really quickly another little pencil case type container that I got from IK house I also got this canister from IK house as well this is where I house all of my face powders and as you can see it's a little dusty in there it's where I keep all of my brow products this is a area of my kit that is growing I do plan on getting more items for brows and in this container I have all of my LA girl pro conceal concealers these are all 18 shades and this little baggie here is where I keep all of my mineral face makeup from Madison Street Beauty and lastly for these little baggy containers I have some of my newly added lip colors this one is all of my lip pencils I have some Mac in here I have some Nika K some NYX and some Avon then in this container are all of my lip glasses, luster glasses, dazzle glasses from MAC, lip tars from OCC. I have um, some beauty supply store lip glosses, some lip jellies from MAC, and then I also have my Kat Von D lip stains as well as some other lip stains in there as well. 
And here I have all of my eye paints from MAC, eye pencils, liquid last liners. I have all of my paint pots in here as well. And then I also have all of my gel liners, colored gel liners from Shani Cosmetics. I have all of my fluid lines in here as well as some of my favorite gel liners which are by Sedona Lace. Now the reason why I do not have a lot of pencil liners, I probably have about four or five pencil liners. And when you open this up, this is where I keep all of my MAC blushes. This is where I keep all of my Tarte blushes as well, my Bahama Mama brushes, blushes, I'm sorry. And this over here is where I keep all of my cream color bases, all of my highlighters, powder highlighters, cream blushes, liquid blushes, and liquid highlighters. Next I have the rest of my lipsticks. These are what I originally started storing my lipsticks in but I stopped purchasing these because like I said I feel like I have too many lipsticks and I these hold 30 lipsticks at a time and I don't feel like I'm going to purchase another 30. I probably do have 30 in that other container that I showed you but I'm done with the lipstick purchasing. So this one is all of my purples and blues and a little bit of like silver gold and black lipsticks. This container holds all of my reds, burgundies, slightly purple and orange lipsticks as well. And this container holds my clear lip conditioner as well as all of my browns, nudes, and light pink lipsticks. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. The next palette I have is the Lorac Pro palette. I actually have a tutorial coming up using this palette. Highly recommend looking into this one. A no-name palette from Crown Brush. This is an eyebrow palette. I'm so sad because the color that I used to use for my brows broke in this palette. But this palette comes very, very, very in handy for filling in eyebrows. As well as just creating a really quick, neutral eye look. Next I have all of my eyeshadow palettes. All of the eyeshadows that are going to be in here are from Coastal Scents or from MAC. 95% is Coastal Scents or what I, sh I should say 98% is Coastal Scents and the rest is MAC shadows. I'm not going to show you guys because it's going to take too much time. If you guys would like to see more in depth about what I keep in my palettes, please leave a comment below and thumbs up this video. Next I have my bag of pigments. It usually is more organized but I was recently transferring some MAC pigments into smaller containers and it kind of like frustrated me so I just dumped everything back into this container but it usually is laid out nicer than this. I do plan on organizing this even more. Then the last container I have in this one is my foundations container. These are the six color conceal and corrector palettes from BH Cosmetics. I have all three light, medium, and dark. My Graftobian palettes. I have the ones that come like this and I have all three of the larger palettes. I have the starter kits for the warm neutrals and cool foundations for the Glam Air airbrush foundation. It comes in handy. You can mix these colors. The reason why I use Graftobian foundation in my Pro Kit is because number one, it photographs beautifully. Secondly, all of the foundations correspond with each other. Whether it's the cream foundations, their powder foundations, or their airbrush foundations, they all have the same shades and the same names. So you never have to guess what shade you're gonna be in creams, what shade you're gonna be in airbrush, or what shade you're going to be in powder. If you are Midnight Marigold in the cream, you're gonna be Midnight Marigold in the airbrush, you're gonna be Midnight Marigold in the powder. So that's what I mean when I say that it corresponds within the line, so you never have to guess and it's so easy Easy for me once I find out what undertone my client is I can either flip between airbrush or cream and they'll be perfectly fine.